What's up guys, Well and Customs here, and today we're taking a look at the DC Signature Collection Robin Damian Wayne right here. Actually came as a nice nifty box, obviously, for collectors. Uh, put it to the side. Uh, but this is a pretty cool figure. I always wanted this in my collection. Uh, waited a little bit, but here he is. Uh, people might say he's a little bit too big, but I don't mind that. We'll just say we're jumping in time in the future, so let's open him up. Alright guys, so here is Damian Robin out of the box. Now, I have to admit, this is a pretty impressive looking figure. I like it a lot. I know a lot of people were a little iffy on the size of him because he's a little too built for their liking compared to the comic books or even the cartoon. Um, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I, you know, they're, I guess they really can't make stick figure arms unless it's like a woman's like this. Uh, but uh, it's not horrible. I don't mind it. You know, he's supposed to be 8, 9, 10 years old max or some, something like that. I'm just going to chalk it up and pretend, you know, all right, he's 14, 15 now. So there you go. Uh, but he's still sporting a smaller body overall. Here he is next to Superboy right here, who sports a pretty small body, but he's clearly a lot smaller still. Right there, at least shorter. And he's smaller, yeah. Uh, so we'll do some more size comparisons at the end of other figures, but uh, off the bat, let's take a look at him next to a regular sized figure. Still a lot smaller, obviously. So it's not bad, I don't mind the size. I mean, it's good to have a nice small Robin anyway for your collection. Uh, but the figure itself is pretty good, you know, I know a lot of people were iffy on the face sculpt because it looks too, what was it, Jay Leno-y because of the chin or something like that. I don't mind it. I love the smirk, little a-hole uh, Damien right there. Uh, but the head sculpt looks pretty good. The hair looks nice. I love the shading in the hair. Little paint apps there looks pretty good too. Uh, going down to the rest of the figure, very plain looking figure, but very effective, you know, has a red body right there. The arms are actually gray, not black, which is a nice touch to it, more unique to Damien himself. You have the gauntlets over here, a new uh, looking belt, the cloth goes down from his shirt past his waist. Uh, going down to the boots, nice stitching, nice sculpting, even on the bottom right there. So it's a decent figure, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's basic, it's plain, but it's very effective and nice overall. You can see in the back over here, he does sport a yellow cape, but the black part over here is actually his hood. So it's kind of interesting, you can't actually, it's only it's sculpted in there like that. Uh, but still a nice touch right there, it doesn't uh, look that bad. Uh, for accessories, he does come with a little... I don't know what you want to call this, a battering, whatever you want to call it, uh, which actually slides into his hand, so that's pretty interesting. I like this touch right here. Uh, so he's not actually holding it, it's actually inserted into his fingers like that. So that's pretty cool, not bad. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't remember if Damien had specific batterings that do this for himself, or it's just unique for this own figure. Um, so if you guys know that, let me know in the comments below, but... Still really, really cool. Nice touch right there. Getting into articulation really quickly, he does have a ball joint in the head, but it's very limited because of the hood over there. So it only goes left and right, doesn't go up and down at all. Uh, going through the shoulders, there are hinge joints that rotate. A little bit hindered as well from the cape. Not horrible though, so it goes out pretty good. Uh, it goes forward, no problems, but that's about it. Uh, you can't really go up any higher than that. Uh, bicep swivel over there, one point at the elbow, and a wrist swivel. He does have a really good ab joint, I have to admit I'm very happy and impressed by that uh, because, you know, toward the end of uh, DC Unlimited figures and also DC, uh, uh, yeah, DC Unlimited, you know, they sucked when it came to our ab joints, they barely have any. So this is really impressive and nice to see right there. Uh, he does have a waist swivel as well. Uh, the hip joints are in T-joint and hips, but a little bit hindered by the cloth over here. Uh, it's a soft plastic, so you can still get it up there. It's just that, you know, it's something I don't really prefer to have, but whatever. Uh, thigh swivel, one point at the knee. He does nothing at the boot, but he has an ankle right there, a uh, hinge. So, like I said, nice articulation, very standard and typical for DC Universe figures. Uh, so no problems there. I do wish the head kind of pivoted more up and down. And yeah. Quick size comparison here is Damien and some of the other smaller figures from the DC lines. Uh, this is Kid Flash right here. Looks like they're sporting the same exact body. Maybe the lower legs a little bit different, but very similar overall. And here he is with a bigger framed figure in Superboy. And for another size comparison, here is Robin next to my modified ish. Uh, Mezco Batman, and this is how I'm gonna have them on my uh, display. I think look, they look pretty good together. Like I said before, I know a lot of people were a little bit iffy about the size and how big he is. You know what? 
we just time travel three years in the future. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit older, so there you go. And Batman's a little bit bigger, a little bit wiser as well, so there you go. All right, to round it up, here is Damien with everyone else I have lying around right now. So, you know, like I said before, he's a great figure. You know, I wanted him in my collection always. I finally got him right now. Uh, taking him out of the box, I have to admit, he's a lot better than I thought he would be. And I'm pretty happy to finally have him. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do what everyone's pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you like the video, get a thumbs up. Peace.